Flex Wheeler once said, he says, uh, I never saw Dorian as beatable. And when I was in bodybuilding, I was so immersed in it, like a tunnel vision, that I literally did nothing else. I thought about nothing else. He created the heavy-duty image of a bodybuilder. The density, the size, the thickness, turned bodybuilding into a mass monster-type barbarian brutal sport. Second place. Received the silver. Joe Weider, Mr. Olympia medal, silver Sandow medal, and give it to you. Durian Yates was born on 1962 in Solihull, England. He grew up on a farm in Hurley. And I was on the street and uh, staying at friends' places, and we had, a, you know, we were all skinheads. I was kind of, I'd done a little weight training at school when I was doing karate, you know, I got a few magazines and I really was really interested in it, um, but never able to pursue it because of my circumstances. And when I was a teenager, I was like off the rails a little bit for a couple of years and I got sent to a detention center, which is basically a youth jail facility. Mm -hmm. You know, shit happens in that environment and uh, I was 18 yeah. and I went there for a few months and they, they had the weights in there as well, so. And then we were in the gym, went to the gym and I was like, I was killing everybody in the gym and I had the best physique and just like, wow, this is something I can be good at. I was stronger than the other guys, I had a better physique and um, I was like, wow, so this is it, this is my thing. Dorian was just naturally good at bodybuilding. And he got really into it because he found the whole process of changing your body with training and diet super interesting. Um, I had no family backing, really. No education, not much prospects. Like the process of how you can change your body with the training and the diet and what's the best way to do it what's the best way to eat, and uh, I've got to figure all this stuff out myself. After getting out of the detention center, Dorian got into training. And I had been training in the gym for, I think it was eight months, yeah? And that's the first pictures you can find of me online. I was reading everything I could get my hands on. Every book on bodybuilding, every book on nutrition, every magazine, no internet, of course, we're talking the early 80s, yeah? So you've got to search for your information. Because of his genes, he grew up real fast. In eight months, I'd made great progress, and the guy at the gym said, look, um, I'm putting a contest on next week across the street there, there's a, there's a hotel there. He said, why don't you enter? I've got a first time as you piss it, like the first training eight months, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you'd win. <laughs> I got a cold or something, yeah, so for a few days I couldn't eat properly, I didn't go to the gym, but I lost a few pounds because of this cold, and I looked in the mirror, I was like, Whoa. I look kind of ripped. How about I just go in that contest then, yeah? So this was Dorian's first shot at a contest. He was just 21, so it was back in 83 and was weighting at around 195 pounds. He was totally natural. No, the two guys that I was competing against were on the juice and I wasn't. And he won his very first contest ever. After that show in 1984, Dorian thought, why not give Mr. Birmingham Novice a shot? Regional Novice Contest. That's somebody that's never won a contest before. Not a first time as you haven't competed before, but you haven't won a contest. So. so he did his mandatory posing, 
then headed backstage. A guy called Ron Davis was there. He was the head of the English Federation. He was also a judge in the Mr. Olympia. So very, you know, knowledgeable, respect to guy in industry. And not the other judges there. And they were like all there waiting for me as I come off. And they're like, kid, where are you from? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm from Birmingham. And like, what? <laughs> what? How come we've never heard of you? I said, because it's my first contest. What? Why aren't you in the heavyweights? I said, no, I don't think I'm good enough for the heavyweights. And they're, they're like, Joking. Started laughing like, mate, we've got news for you. You're probably the best heavyweight bodybuilder we've got in the whole country. So that night, Dorian took home the win. A guy called Frank Richards was there. He was the um, highest placing British bodybuilder in pro contests. Interviewing the guy at the, at the time, Frank Richards. He said, So, how long uh, you think you're going to stay pro, Frank, and compete and everything? He said, uh, not that long. So why do you say that? And he pointed at me on stage and says, because of fuckers like that. <laughs> <laughs> right after that contest, Dorian got an invite to the World Games heavyweights, happening just two weeks later. We'd like you to come and try out and be on the British team for the, for the World Games. And so I went to try out for the team. I got on heavyweight, I went to the World Games. And I got seventh place there out of 13 competitors. Of course, these are the best guys in the world there. So in that year, Dorian placed seventh in that show. But he wasn't discouraged. He came back the next year, in 1986, and totally crushed it, winning the heavyweights category. <laughs> After that year, Things really took off for him because he became a pro card holder. It's 1988. Dorian jumped back into the World Games and nailed it, winning both the heavyweight class and the overall title. So I got my pro card in 88 overall British champion and I said okay now I'm pro now I'm going to take 18 months out give my very best shot to this pro show because if I don't get in the top five that will be it for me in the 1990 night of champions Dorian went all out but ended up taking second place. Mohammed Beneziza took the top spot that night, leaving Dorian with the runner-up spot. Um, but I got second on my first pro show, close second. Uh, the guy that won Mohammed Beneziza was amazing. That same year, he did a photo shoot for the cover of Flex magazine, which was a great achievement for a bodybuilder back then. So I got the 200 pound dumbbell, got it up, bang, he got the shot, and that was my first uh, cover on uh, Flex magazine. The following year, in 1991, he made a comeback at the Night of Champions and totally dominated, snagging the win easily. And then I returned the next year to that contest, Night of Champions, and won that outright easy. This victory also secured his qualification for the Mr. Olympia that year. Later, that was in May, and later in the year of September, I think it was, was my first Mr. Olympia. And in 1991, that was Dorian's Mr. Olympia debut, and he was absolutely amazing. You know, coming up against Lee Haney as seven times champion. Yeah. He was Mr. Olympia when I started. I'm like, man, you can't be going there in, in awe. And as a fanboy, otherwise it's, you can't beat somebody with that perspective, yeah? So I had to degrade Lee Haney in my mind a little bit. Like, he's a man, he's got two arms, two legs, he lifts weights just like you. And guess what? He ain't training harder than you, because that is not possible, yeah? So why not you? Why not, why not? Guy in New York telling me a story, which I found out later is total bullshit. So he's like, you got to watch out for Haney on stage. 
is a bully. I say, what do you mean? Ah, uh, you know, he'll try to intimidate you. He'll bang into you a little bit. He might tread on your toe or something. You know, he just want to like bully you and own the stage, man. I'm like what? He's not doing that shit to me, man. I'm getting all psyched up and everything, right? <laughs> so I got to Mr. Olympia, my first Mr. Olympia, right? Dorian was on the stage, and then they called out just him and Lee. It was clear this was a showdown for the top two spots. So I start to walk out, and Lee's give me the, you know, friendly smile. I give him a stone face. So I went into the semi-relaxed pose, and on purpose, I properly banged my elbow into him. Yeah, and he must have been, what the hell is this crazy guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I banged into him, and I did it a couple of times to let, to let him know, you know? And then in the pose down, Lee Haney does this pose where he brings out his arms mm -hmm. like this. And I was behind and I know he kind of got me out of the corner of his eye and he clipped me with his, with his knuckle. <laughs> I think he was like, okay, have some back. In this Mr. Olympia, Dorian ended up in second place while Lee Haney won the title for the eighth time. Take it to the second place winner, who is Dorian Yates. 1992 rolled around, marking Dorian Yates's second shot at the Mr. Olympia. He didn't bother with any other competitions, putting all his energy into Mr. Olympia. With Lee Haney retiring as the champ, the title was wide open for anyone. Kevin wasn't really on the radar for me. I, I seen that he won the Night of Champions, but for some reason I wasn't really thinking it would be a challenge yet. Vince Taylor, Labrada, Sean Ray. Nobody can get close to me on size. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come in like shredded like a lightweight as well. And after 92, I sat down and I was like, six weeks out, I am contest ready. Uh, 92, I weighed, I think, like 238. And then it all came down to the final call-out. It was Kevin and Dorian in the spotlight. They stood there, right in the center of the stage, and in the end, Dorian won the Mr. Olympia title that year. And the rest is history. Second place. Received the silver Joe Weider Mr. Olympia medal. Silver Sandow medal, and give it to Kevin LeRong. Yeah.